Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a treatment called phototherapy. This is a therapy done to treat too high levels of bilirubin in the newborn. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so we're talking about phototherapy to treat neonatal jaundice, which is when you have too high levels of bilirubin. Again, this presentation is solely for education purposes. It's not intended to be medical advice. So first, let's go over the goals for this lesson. We're going to talk about when is neonatal jaundice pathologic. We're going to talk about how pathologic neonatal jaundice is treated. And lastly, we're going to go over phototherapy, its mechanism, the parameters, like how do you control the levels of it, and lastly, some safety considerations. So first, let's define pathologic jaundice. So there is a thing called physiologic jaundice, and if you want to learn what causes this, you can check out this video right here. Physiologic jaundice peaks around levels of 5 to 6 milligrams per deciliter of uh, bilirubin at day of life 3 to 4. It is fairly common, but it's a result of physiologic processes and shouldn't be concerning. However, there are certain situations when that jaundice becomes pathologic, meaning it's indicative of some sort of disease process going on. So what things make us think that jaundice is pathologic? First, it's when the jaundice develops within the first 24 hours of life. Uh, like we talked about just a second ago, Physiologic jaundice doesn't occur until a few days after the baby is born. So if it happens very quickly, that should be concerning. Secondly, if the total bilirubin rate of rise, that means how much that bilirubin level is rising each day, if that rises by more than 5 milligrams per deciliter per day, that is indicative of some sort of pathologic process. And lastly, if the absolute level of bilirubin is greater than 17, that's also suggestive of some disease process. So what are the treatment options for pathologic jaundice? First, we have phototherapy, which we're going to talk about. This is an illustration of what happens. Basically, the baby is getting shined on by light. And as we'll discuss, it can help clear the bilirubin levels in the blood. Another mechanism that we can use is something called exchange transfusion. This is generally done for the more severe cases uh, when phototherapy isn't sufficient to clear the bilirubin. And what happens here is basically you're clearing out some of the blood from the baby and then you're putting in new blood to essentially clear the levels of bilirubin. And how we think about using these is we use something called a nomogram. And this is kind of what a nomogram would look like where you look at the baby's age, so how many hours or how many days of life, how old they are, and you look at what their level of bilirubin is, and then these, are, these nomograms are published by the American Academy of Pediatrics, and you look at sort of what gestational age the baby was when they were born, so were they, were they born at 35, 37, over 40 weeks, and you follow that line on the graph to see what are the thresholds for either doing phototherapy or exchange transfusion. So let's get into how phototherapy works. Basically what's happening is that you're using light energy to do something called photoisomerization. And this is a very fancy term, but essentially what it means is that we're changing the molecular configuration of the bilirubin. We're not changing its chemical composition, we're only changing its arrangement in space. And what happens when you do that, same chemical composition but different arrangement in space, that forms something called an isomer. So this is an illustration right here. This is not the structure of bilirubin, it's just a, sort of a cartoon. But if this is the molecule, you give some light energy and maybe the molecule rotates around some axis. So you can see here, this part is sort of flipped from this. It's still the same uh, components, it's just oriented differently in space. And sometimes this could have implications on the solubility, and that's what happens with bilirubin. 
basically the process of rearranging the atoms in space turns the bilirubin into a form that's water soluble. And then you can excrete that into the stool or urine. And so that's how the baby is going to be able to clear the bilirubin because normally the bilirubin is not water soluble, so they can't clear it that way. But by giving that light energy, doing this photoisomerization, that allows you to clear the bilirubin out of the blood. So this is a fancier illustration. This is the uh, chemical composition of bilirubin. And this is an example of one of the photoisomers of bilirubin. So I have these arrows here pointing to the specific parts that are different. So you can see here, um, sort of these double lines, this is just illustrating like carbon atoms and the chemical bonds. See how this part's kind of flipped. This whole area is flipped. That's a result of putting the light energy into the molecule. You rearrange it. And the result is that this new isomer is water soluble. And therefore you can clear it from the blood. So what are the parameters for phototherapy? How do we sort of titrate the levels? So there are three main factors that allow you to control essentially the strength of the phototherapy. The first is going to be what kind of light that you're using. So different wavelengths of light have different energy. And for phototherapy, what we generally use is wavelengths between 460 to 490 nanometers. That's still in the visible spectrum of light. It's in the blue, blue wavelength spectrum. Um, but if you were to use a different wavelength, you could get a different sort of energy. Another factor that you can use is the distance between the light and the baby. Closer distance will create uh, more energy. You can change the number of lights if you, to get more strength. Uh, and lastly, you can change the surface area. So if there's more surface of the baby exposed to the lights, there'll be more energy delivered uh, and higher intensity of the phototherapy. And overall, when the baby's undergoing phototherapy, it can be kind of an extended process. Normally, they'll be getting phototherapy for between 24 hours to up to like five to seven days. So it's not always just like a short couple hour process. Sometimes it takes multiple days. So what are some of the risks that you have to consider when you do phototherapy? Really, the main one you have to worry about is potential damage to the retina. So that's why when the baby is in that, uh, you know, that basket, that bed under the lights, they put these eye masks over the baby to protect the eyes. There is another uh, potential complication called bronze baby syndrome. This is essentially when the baby's skin will turn bluish gray. And this happens when you have a conjugated hyperbilirubinemia that's a result of some sort of uh, obstruction in the biliary flow. Um, so that's kind of a different form of bilirubin that's causing the jaundice from the unconjugated form that phototherapy use, is used for. So if there's a conjugated bilirubinemia, um, sometimes called direct hyperbilirubinemia, Phototherapy is contraindicated because of this risk of bronze baby syndrome. All right, let's summarize what we learned today. We learned that pathologic jaundice is defined as one, if it develops within the first 24 hours of life, two, if the rate of rise is more than five per day, and three, if the total serum bilirubin is over 17. We learned about some different treatment options for the jaundice, including phototherapy and exchange transfusion. We learned that phototherapy works by converting the bilirubin into a water-soluble form through a process called photoisomerization. We learned that phototherapy is controlled by the wavelength of light, the distance between the light and the baby, and also the number of lights, and also the total surface area of the baby that you're exposing to the light. And lastly, we learned that retinal damage is the primary risk associated with phototherapy. All right, that is all everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.